Hey Deckers, Liam here. Recently I did a video talking about how Valve fixed the new EA app with Proton Experimental. You should see the video pop up in the top right corner and I'll link it in the description as well. You do need to set your EA games to Proton Experimental for them to now work at all. And while it does fix the initial install of the EA app, EA do keep updating it and it can actually break itself. You might find that a game goes back to your Steam library when you go to launch it, like my example here with Battlefield 1. Or when going to launch it again, it gets entirely stuck on the Steam spinning logo of Doom, again like I'm showing you right now. This one is even more problematic as you cannot actually get it to close, it just refuses and you need to reboot the deck to get away from it. I've seen this issue now myself across Battlefield 1 and the Mass Effect Legendary Edition but no doubt it happens to all games with the new EA app. The good news is that there is a fix and I'm going to tell you it and it's a pretty simple one. Before I show you the fix though I'm going to give you a stern warning. This can potentially delete save files, so you should make a backup before doing this. Where the save files are depends on the game. Not every game will have cloud saves. Do not rely on that. As an example though, to help you along your way, in desktop mode, you can find the spoof Windows folder used by Proton for games like this. Firstly, open up Steam. Right click on your game and go to Properties. Tap Local Files and Browse. Now at the very top of the file manager, look for where it says Steam Apps and click it. Then go into the Compact Data folder. In here will be an ID for each of your Steam games. You can find the ID back in the Properties window of the game in Steam and in the Updates tab it will show you the actual Steam ID for the game. Then back in your file manager, search for the ID and go inside the folder. Inside here, go into pfx, drive underscore c, and there you will see the faked Windows folders where you can go hunting for the save games if you need to make a backup. Again, where they are depends on the game. You can find them quite easily via Google. I'm not going to list every single one right now. This is just to help you along the path to make a backup. After you've done a backup if you want, you can go back into gaming mode, select the game in your Steam library, go along to the little cog icon on the right, into Developer, and select Delete Proton Files. This will renew the Proton prefix for the game. And then when we go to launch again, you will see that it will reinstall the EA app, and after a while the game will load up again, Obviously I'm speeding this up a little bit because it takes a good couple minutes to actually get into the game. From my own testing from when it repeatedly messed me over with multiple EA games recently, this will fix it every time. Considering how new the EA app is, it's probably going to see quite a few updates and so it might need this doing a couple of times. At least until EA calmed down with the updates or until Valve tracked down why it keeps failing. However, if you don't see that developer menu in the game properties, you could try toggling on developer mode from the settings system menu on the Steam Deck. For me, it's always been there, but it's just worth noting just in case you don't see it, that might bring it up for you. So it is very annoying, it has messed me up a few times, but as I said, this fix works every time. Just remember to make those backups if you need them. And I really hope that helps those of you playing EA apps on the Steam Deck. Thanks for listening and for being here and I'll see you later.